start with the multi-criteria decision-making tool. The multi-criteria decision-making (MCDM) tool is integrated and available within the Silico FCM platform alongside with the other tools. Click on the multi-criteria decision-making (MCDM) in Silico FCM platform in Tools section to open the MCDM homepage. Set up a decision-making project. To initiate a decision analysis project in the MCDM tool, start with creating your project by clicking on Add MCDM Project button. The tool opens a new page where you can include the name and description of your project. You can specify your desired number of alternatives and criteria. The description window supports HTML-based text. Thus, the user can include formatted text and even pictures or tables. Once you do this, click on Create to be redirected to the next page. A decision analysis project can be set up in four stages. The top panel dynamically changes in color to guide the users through the different steps which you should follow to define your project. In the lower section, you can state the title of your project. Using the two toggle buttons, you can select whether the project would be private or shared with other users. Further, you can also select to allow or not allow other users to edit criteria and alternatives in your project. Once you click on update, the project is created. You can now proceed to the next step by clicking on alternative definition from the top menu. Alternatives under Alternative Definition, you can introduce your alternatives to the project by clicking on Add Alternative button. A new window will open up where you can insert the name and description of the alternative. In addition, you can create hierarchies of alternatives by selecting a parent alternative. The drop-down menu shows the previous alternatives which are defined in the project and the user can select one of them as the parent. After completing this, you can click on Create. The alternatives and their hierarchies are now defined and are shown in the table. You can edit, copy or delete the alternatives from the table. After defining your alternatives, click on Criteria Definition from the top menu to proceed to the next step. Criteria Under Criteria Definition, you can define the criteria used for decision-making process in the project. Click on Add Criteria button to open the window where you can add the name and define the specific fields for a criteria. Similar to alternatives you can create hierarchies of criteria. Under Criterion Type, you can select the criterion type based on its data type. Currently, the user can select among the five different types of criterion including crisp number, linguistic fuzzy, linguistic crisp, fuzzy and soon to be included probability distribution function. Further, you can define the target for the beneficial or non-beneficial criterion by clicking on maximum or minimum under the higher ranking when closer to. For beneficial criteria users can select maximum, whereas for non-beneficial criteria select minimum. Users also have the possibility to define a user-defined target value which will lead to a higher score closer to the user-defined value. To define a user-defined value, include the value on the text box, or if the target value is a range of two values, use the toggle button to define the range of target values. For example, if you consider the values closer to mean value as the target, a higher rank would be associated with the alternatives with values closer to the mean value. Furthermore, you can define the possible minimum and maximum values for the criteria. The values defined affect the scale and sensitivity of the criterion values. Additionally, you can type the units for the criterion such as a percentage, millimeter etc. After completing the steps, click on Create. Similar to alternatives you can edit, copy or delete the criteria once it is created. For criteria, which can be expressed in a Boolean form such as true or false, yes or no, you can define them as linguistic crisp. For example, if the criterion is does the patient smoke? You can set the criteria type to linguistic crisp. Set the number of valid expressions to 2 for yes and no and click on define or edit linguistic expressions. This will open a new window, where you can replace the default expressions with the ones more suited to the criteria. 
Using the drop-down menu under Linguistic, you can define the expressions under the text box for the expression title. In this case, default expressions low and high can be replaced with no and yes, respectively. Now go back and click on Update. Don't forget that the target values for ranking should be also set. In this case, a higher ranking is given for an alternative patient who is a non-smoker, and thus the field's higher ranking when closer to is set is minimum, zero and therefore no. Set up an analysis. After defining alternatives and criteria, click on Analysis Management on the top panel to access the Analysis Management page. Click on Add Analysis opens a modal window where you can create an analysis for the project that you defined in previous stages. You can select the source type and method of multi-criteria decision to be used for the particular analysis. In this case, user is associated with user-defined weights and the MCDM method is selected as the weighted sum model. You can proceed with selecting the alternatives and criteria previously filled out for the particular project. Similar to the project window, users can select options regarding sharing and editing of the analysis with the other users. Upon completion, click on Create and the analysis will be shown under the project within Analysis Management. A user can create multiple analyzes under one project and the analysis will show with their name, description, and last date of modification. For a defined analysis, users can choose to edit, input data copy or delete an analysis under the actions column input data to proceed with the analysis click on input data a modal window will appear which shows the decision matrix where selected alternatives are shown as rows and the selected criteria shown as columns in the table under each criterion the minimum and maximum values along with a target value for ranking are shown as criteria may have different importance for different users, the weights for each criterion can be set here. By default, all criteria are weighted equally which is one. Users can define the importance of one criterion over the other by assigning weights as an absolute number, for example if all other criteria weigh one except the one criterion that is twice as important, it will be assigned two. The system automatically normalizes the assigned weights. The knockout option for the criteria allows the user to select one or multiple criteria as knockout criteria. The users are then prompted to define a threshold value that is based on the target values, maximum or minimum. If the entered input value for an alternative is below the threshold value defined, then the tool automatically knocks out the particular alternative from the decision analysis. Once you entering all the input values, Click on Update to go back to the Analysis Management table. Results To see the results, click on the Results button. The Results window shows the calculated scores of the selected alternatives, other than the knocked out alternatives. The results are shown as a bar chart with the possibility of clustered bar charts with minimum, mean, and maximum scores for the cases of fuzzy logic defined for a criterion. The table and graph updates automatically to present the alternatives in their descending order of score. To improve user experience and assist in decision making, a slider widget is integrated into the results chart. The sliders enable adjusting the criteria weights, on a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being the most important, based on the user's preference. The changes in the slider values are used to automatically calculate the updated analysis score and are displayed instantaneously on the bar chart.